Hello, it's September already. How did that happen? For me, September is a bit like New Year and it's a time to refresh. And with all the children going back to school this week, I thought it might be nice for everyone else, apart from children, to have something new happening, as in a little bit of refresh maybe to your workspace. Now, over 10 years ago, um, 10, 11 years ago, I think it's actually, I used to work in the city in London. I had a corporate job. I worked in a big company and um, it was a bit of a lifeless building um, with no natural light and we were all in little grey cubicles and when I started to study floristry and an evening class, it was about 2003-2004, I decided that um, I'd add a flower to my desk. So every Monday morning when I walked past the flower stall at the nearby tube station, I'd pick a flower and then I put it in a vase on my desk. Now, <laughs> these are the actual vases that I had. And this, gerbera. Gerberas were the first flowers that I ever had on my desk. And I knew nothing at all about flowers back then. Um, hardly knew any flower names. And I just love the fact that the um, person on the flower store would get a piece of wire, I'll do a close up so you can see it, green wire, and wind it around the stem of the gerbera just to help it stay up because they, their stems can be quite um, fragile. And for me, that was just amazing. I, I don't know, I just really love watching them do it. So the gerbera was the first flower that I had on my desk and I used to do different colors all the time. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. And these vases I got were quite heavy at the bottom, so it's quite nice to sit on my desk. Then sometimes I get an allium, and then sometimes, right this time of year, I get a sunflower. They're, you see there, and they're really happy flowers. And um, this will be on my desk all week. Now, some people might say, oh, I can't afford flowers, they're too expensive. Well, your flower a week will cost you less than a cup of coffee that you have every day. People don't think twice about spending two, two pounds fifty for a cup of coffee, um, and that's more than you would pay for a flower. So, and with a flower, you've got it for the whole week as well, and it gives enjoyment the whole time you're sat at your desk. So from nine to five thirty, or eight to six, or in the hours that you work. So those are the first two vases that I had. Now, I popped into my local my mum's local Tesco actually, um, when I went to see her recently down in Devon. And I found this little vase and it was only £3.50, it was handmade. Um, so this might be a nice alternative. And what's great with stock, this flower, is it's got a gorgeous, like spicy, clove-like scent. So if you want a flower that's got a scent, then you might like to buy some stock and they come in lots of different colours as well. And then Last but not least, there's this lovely little vase from LSA, which is in the goodie bags for our social media for florist workshops. Um, um, it's a really lovely vase. It's a school, I think it's called a small posy vase. And this is a rose called Memory Lane, which is a beautiful sort of lilac -y rose with tinged um, pink petals. And this seed is actually from my garden. Um, there's not much in my garden at the moment because we're having some work done, but this I managed to snip out of it earlier today and this just looks so sweet on your desk and this is what I'm going to have in my office for the rest of the week. So what I thought I'd suggest is when you go to work on Monday, either when you're walking past a flower school stall first thing in the morning or if you go out at lunchtime and visit a local florist, just pop in and buy one stem. Take a vase in with you and um, yeah, put it on your desk. And you'll be amazed at the number of comments by people. Um, not only will you enjoy it, but also they will enjoy it. And I was quite surprised that quite a few guys actually were like, oh, what's this flower doing on your desk? And it's a way also to get to know the names of all the different flowers by asking your florist um, when you're in there. So what I'm going to suggest also is that you take a photograph and you put it on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag flower on a desk, so flower on a desk. And it'd be lovely to see the pictures 
of your flowers and the flowers you've chosen, the vases you've chosen. So no matter what kind of work you do, whether you work in the corporate world like I used to do and you have a desk, or you're a florist and you have a desk where you do your admin, or you work from home, um, for example, maybe you're a blogger, then it would be lovely to see your photographs and um, I'll share some of them on social media and let's see how far we can take this. Maybe we could get it trending. And I promise you that once you have a flower in your desk for one week, you'll find you really miss it if you don't buy one the following week. It just adds a real pop of colour and a little tiny bit of nature into your workspace. So no flowery events to share with you, but I just wanted to tell you all about this new initiative which I'd like to start called Flower in a Desk. So just some other news before I go. I'm thrilled to have been shortlisted for two awards at the Wedding Blog Awards this year. One is the Best Flowers Blog and the other one is the Best Use of Social Media. And I really, really love it if you'd like to vote for me. And I'll put a link below in the blog post for this video and also on YouTube. Voting is open until next Friday, um, so please could you vote for me? So I hope you've enjoyed watching this week's video. Don't forget, flower on a desk. And I'll see you again next Saturday. I just want to share with you my flower of the week, which is this. It's a cafe au lait dahlia.